Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. Today we are all about Christmas. I have my first Christmas Trader Joe's haul for you. Now I'm hoping to have a second one. I'm not sure how much more holiday things Trader Joe's will get in because I have a lot to share with you today, but in the event that there's enough for a second video, I will definitely, definitely be doing a second video for you. Now today I have all of the new holiday items. I did not purchase everything, but as always at the end of the taste test portion and where I show you what I actually purchased, I will include clips and talk a little bit about some of the other holiday items that were in store. The reason I don't purchase everything is because a lot of the items my husband and myself wouldn't necessarily eat or use and I don't wanna be wasteful. So I thought that I would take pictures and just kind of share with you in case it works for your family what's available at Trader Joe's. But before we get started, I'm in my Christmas sweatshirt, new this year, that I'm super excited about. So let me show you the first of the new Christmas gear. So my sweatshirt says, nobody's walking out on this fun old fashioned family Christmas. So let me know down in the comments if you know what movie this is from. I'm going to be taste testing all the new holiday items and I'll put the points here on the screen. So you're going to get a first impression of all of these new things. But before we jump in, if you are excited for the first Trader Joe's Christmas haul of 2020, give this video a huge big thumbs up. It really means a lot to me and shows me that you like these types of videos. Also, if you're new to my channel or not yet subscribed, Subscribe. We would love to have you. I am planning on doing the 12 days of Vlogmas, so you don't want to miss out on all of the Christmas content as well as all of the other fun content here on my channel as I do upload most days of the week. Make sure you're checking out that description box down below where you're going to find my nutrition coaching website. I offer personalized calories and macros. Super important to know what you should be eating every single day as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching in both 30 minute and 60 minute sessions. So check that out. Also, you'll find links and discount codes to all of my very favorite things. And last but not least, the link to head over and join me on Facebook. This is a great time to head over and join us as I have lots of good things up my sleeve as we roll into 2021. So head on over and join us there. So it's time for a Trader Joe's haul and taste test. Let's get started because I have a ton from Trader Joe's. So we're gonna start with all the good sweet stuff. I do have one frozen item and two beverages. So I'm gonna leave those in the fridge and freezer until we get through all the sweet stuff because I have a pile over here of that. So we are gonna start first with the mini dark chocolate mint stars. A serving size of these is 13 pieces for 130 calories. I will be putting points and the price, just so you know, here on the screen for you. So I actually bought these last year, but of course I don't remember what things taste like from the year before. So we're actually going to taste test almost everything that I picked up. There's, I think, one item that's actually going to be a gift, so we won't be taste testing that. But we're going to start with these yummy minty chocolate stars. So this is the size of them. Now they are fairly small, but again, 13 of these is a serving. These are delicious. They are shortbread, chocolate minty. These are really, really good. These, I remember being good last year. Could be a little bit dangerous. These would be a great gift. They're really, really delicious. And again, because there's so many pieces in a serving, you could even cut down the number of pieces and cut down the points and calories, but. 10 out of 10. Next up are the Trader Joe's dark chocolate covered JoJo's. So we know that JoJo's are Trader Joe's version of Oreos. Some I like, some I don't. I have had these before again last year. I'm excited for these. I remember these being really, really good. Now I know these are incredibly high in smart points. They're very much a decadent type of dessert where one is enough. So let me pull it out, show you guys what it looks like and we'll give it a try. So this is the size of it. You can see it's coated in chocolate and little bits of peppermint candy. One cookie is 140 calories. Okay, that's delicious, like incredibly delicious. Now it's very rich and sweet, so I would say one is plenty, and I have a big sweet tooth, and I think one of these for a serving is plenty. 
especially due to the points and calories, but absolutely positively delicious. These would be beautiful as an accent to a cookie plate for the holidays. Keeping on the peppermint bandwagon, we have the Trader Joe's dark chocolate covered peppermint cream. So this to me is like a York peppermint patty, which is actually one of my very favorite candies. I do remember these from last year. I think that I tried these, but because I love York peppermint candies, I'm sure I'm going to love these. Here is what they look like. They are again, chocolate covered with the little bits of peppermint candy. Can you see that peppermint? O-M-G, wow. So good, better than a York, different than a York. A York is a mint center. This is 100% peppermint. And if you didn't know, I am a huge peppermint lover. So this is actually my favorite time of the year. I love candy canes. I love all things peppermint. These are absolutely positively delicious. Next up are the peppermint meringues. If you saw my recent grocery haul, you know I hauled these. These are one of my favorite things. I'm not going to taste test these because I've had them a million times. I love these. They are little meringues and you can see that they are actually coated with little bits of candy cane pieces. And what is so great about these is you get a lot for the points and calories. In fact, calories, 11 cookies is 80 calories. You can't beat it and they're really good. They kind of melt in your mouth. They're not overly sweet, but they pack a little bit of peppermint punch. Really, really delicious. I generally stock up on these so that I have them once the holiday season passes. Now we're gonna try the mini marshmallows. Now we know mini marshmallows are seasonal at Trader Joe's. They don't actually have them during the year. They do have the big marshmallows in the summer for camping, for s'mores, but these peppermint marshmallows are definitely a seasonal thing. They are mini and this cute little bag here is less than $2 and I can't wait to try these. I'm hoping that I get peppermint and not just marshmallow. So here they are, they look delicious, they're super soft. Now these taste really good, but I definitely don't get a lot of peppermint. I get more marshmallow, they're good, it's a good marshmallow, but I just wish that it had a little more peppermint flavor. But how fun would this be for kids to pop in some hot cocoa? You could even top all your peppermint seasonal coffee drinks with these. So I like them, they're just not as pepperminty as I was hoping, but they are gluten-free and vegan. The Peppermint Jojos, I remember these being so good last year. I'm excited to try them again. I would like to compare them to the chocolate covered ones and see which one I like better. So this is what they look like, the standard size, of an Oreo cookie. The inside, it has the white cream of the Oreo cookie, but you can see the little bits of peppermint in there. Wow, these are so good. So those chocolate covered ones, are equally as delicious. I find them to be more rich and more sweet. So if you're not a big sweets person, you will probably love these. My favorite thing about these, besides the good burst of peppermint, is you have little chunks of candy cane in them. So when you bite into them and chew them, you get the crunch of the candy cane. So good, 10 out of 10. Trader Joe's Peppermint Pretzel Slims. Now I loved the ones that I hauled during the fall. Those were so good, but because I love peppermint, I'm at I'm super excited for these. I think again, I have these last year, but I'm gonna try them again on camera to give you my honest opinion. I really, really like the pretzel factory pretzel slims in peppermint. So I'm going to compare those to these ones because those you can pick up at Costco for a really good price, even though these are affordable at Trader Joe's as well. So here is what they look like. They are coated front and back with the white chocolate and the chunks of peppermint. So good. Absolutely delicious, very, very close to the Pretzel Factory brand. These are good. Again, they're very, very sweet, and I think it's that white chocolate coating. So one or two of these, perfect. Four of these is a serving, and I think you could easily get away with one or two of them to kind of cure that peppermint, that Christmas, and the sweet tooth. The last minty thing I have are the dark chocolate covered minty mallows. Now, I think Trader Joe's had these last year, but I did not haul them. I must have missed them. So I'm pretty excited about this. This is going to be reminiscent of the smash mallows dipped in chocolate, but peppermint and chocolate, a couple of my favorite things. So here's what these look like, fully coated in chocolate, big. These are nice, big pieces. These are really good. The chocolate is nice and smooth and creamy and just melts in your mouth. 
It's a great texture of marshmallow, very soft, and definitely I'm getting the mint. So these are really good. Two of these is a serving, and again, I think you could get away with one. They're good size. They're full of chocolate and marshmallow, which are both super sweet. Yeah, these are really, really good. The mini gingerbread people. Now last year, these were called mini gingerbread men. They are now people. They should be as equally as delicious as the men were. I remember these being so good last year and I was hesitant on these. I love ginger, I love gingerbread, but I wondered how good these would really be and I remember these were incredible. So we're gonna give them a try. Make sure they're as incredible as last year now that they're gingerbread people instead of gingerbread men. So here's what they look like and then the back side is coated in the white chocolate. Yes, yes, and yes, so good. I taste crystallized ginger, so I get a big punch of ginger. If you're not a ginger fan, I don't know if you would like these because it's definitely gingery and spicy. They're incredible. I love ginger, and these are probably the best gingerbread cookies that I've ever had. Four of them is a serving. I think one or two would be sufficient because they're sweet due to the white chocolate, but they're spicy with the ginger. So good. Next up are the mini cranberry pistachio biscotti. I love biscotti. The pumpkin is one of my very favorite things, so I'm excited to try these. I'm hoping that it's crispy, but also has that chewy texture from the cranberries and the pistachios. So here's what they look like. They are very, very good size. They have that drizzle of white chocolate or frosting over the top. It's definitely hard like biscotti, but it's really good. I taste cranberry, I taste pistachio, and the biscotti itself reminds me of a sugar cookie. It has that buttery sugar cookie taste. Really good. My favorite thing to do with biscotti is dip it in a nice hot cup of coffee. And these are hard, so that is probably what you'd want to do. You could also dip this in cocoa or tea. But yeah, these are good. These are equally as good as the pumpkin. And the last three things I have, two are beverages, and one is actually a frozen appetizer. Let's start with that because I just warmed it up. This is the camembert cheese and cranberry sauce phyllo bite. This sounds really, really good. So I just popped this in my air fryer for a couple of minutes. Four pieces is 290 calories. I'm going to assume that it's cheese and cranberry sauce in a phyllo wrap. That's what I'm going to assume. The package doesn't say, but this is what it looks like. This is the size. And again, four is a serving. Wow, those are incredible. It's cheesy. It has the cheesy texture of a mozzarella stick, and then you get the sweetness of the cranberry sauce in the dough. Wow, these are really, really good. I could definitely eat four or more. These would be a great appetizer at either Thanksgiving or Christmas. Wow, these are absolutely incredible. Let me know down in the comments if Trader Joe's had these last year, because I don't remember them, or I would have bought them. The first drink that I have is the Cocoa Peppermint Flavored Almond Creamer. So this is an almond milk creamer for your coffee. It is one tablespoon for 40 calories. So I went ahead and brought in a glass here. I shook it up, poured it into the glass. You can see it's definitely that chocolate cocoa coloring. So let's give it a try. That's really good. I taste chocolate, I taste peppermint, and it does have that little bit of an almond milk taste. You know what I'm talking about when you think almond milk. It's good, it's sweet. It's actually sweeter than I expected. So I'm excited to try this in my next cup of coffee, but it's really good. And last but certainly not least is the almond nog. I remember trying this last year and really liking it. This is all the rage. If you are an eggnog lover, but you don't love the calories and points in eggnog, this is a great alternative. You can have a half of a cup for 50 calories. I'm pretty sure traditional eggnog is like 190 calories for half of a cup. Now granted this is almond milk. We'll try it. We'll see what it's like compared to regular eggnog. It tastes like eggnog. It is not as strong in flavor as traditional eggnog and definitely, definitely not as sweet. So if eggnog is too sweet for you, you'll probably really like this. I think this would be great on its own with a little bit of nutmeg or cinnamon sprinkled on top. You could also use this as a base of an ice latte. You could make an eggnog latte for far less calories and points. You could even add this as your creamer in your coffee. But yeah, it's really good. It's just not as eggnoggy and sweet as traditional eggnog. Trader Joe's has 
chocolate liqueur cherries. These sound absolutely delicious. It's $5.99 for this 14 ounce package. Kind of like the chocolate covered cherries you get at Christmas, but the adult version. So those sounded really delicious. Also boozy little chocolate truffles. Now I bought these last year. These are $6.99. These are incredible. The truffle is so good and it's the perfect amount of booze. This would be a fantastic gift for somebody. And then the Candy Cane JoJo's ice cream. Now I've never had this. This is a pretty small container. It's not even a full pint, like what Ben and Jerry's comes in. I just can't buy it because I'll literally eat the whole thing and I know that about myself, but I wanted to show it to you guys in case you have a little more self-control. And then this cute little holiday chocolate pack. I actually bought this last year and I ended up placing these on a big plate of cookies for Christmas in between for kind of a Christmas decoration. So since I did it last year, I didn't pick these up. These are affordable, $3.99, and actually the chocolate is really, really good. The Trader Joe's Peppermint Bark, I also bought this last year. It is so good, you guys. Again, it's dangerous. I love peppermint anything, like I've mentioned, so this is something I just chose not to get. It is $9.99, but it comes in a really pretty reusable tin, and as you saw, I had a lot of other peppermint items, but this, would again, would be a great gift. It'd be a great thing to serve up on Christmas. The Gummy Scandinavian Tidings, these are so cute. They're little stars and Christmas balls in red, green, and white. And these are super cute gummies. These are really good. I've had these before. Again, just not something that I wanted to indulge in this year, but they are really good. Great if you have kids. If they want something sweet and gummy, this is an excellent option. The Trader Joe's Chocolate Covered Pretzel Twists. I also bought these last year, $6.99. There are three different pretzels coated with three different yumminess, peppermint, nuts and sprinkles. These are really good. We served these up on Christmas last year and everybody absolutely loved them. I think they had this last year, but I've actually never tried it. This is the Nantucket Cranberry Pie. Now it sounds delicious and I may pick it up for Christmas, but I just didn't want to get it this early. I don't know if it'll be around, but I wanted to share it with you guys because it looks absolutely delicious. And the taste test caramels are back for $5.99. I have not purchased these. I really like caramels, but Troy doesn't eat chocolate and it's not fun to do the taste testing by myself. But if you have family or kids or a friend that you could do the taste test with, it's pretty fun. They actually include all the different flavors in the packaging and then you get to try them all and try to figure out what flavor they are. The salty honey toffee covered crackers and milk chocolate for $3.99. To me, this is Christmas crack. If you've heard of Christmas crack, it's basically where you take saltine crackers and cover them with everything delicious and they make this really good crack that you just can't stop eating. And I have a feeling these would be exactly the same thing. So I did not pick them up, although they look delicious. I did buy these cookies last year and they're okay. I didn't love them. They are very soft. They're coated with kind of a white, kind of crunchy frosting. I just didn't love them. I know that a lot of people really like these and they have these and then they also have the chocolate covered ones. The Danish butter cookies that come in the cute little Dutch tin is another great gift and a great thing to add to the table at Christmas. If you have kids, you have to get this. This is the holiday ornament cookie kit. How fun, it's everything you need. It's the cookies, the icing, and the sprinkles. This is so, so cute. I make Christmas cookies every year, but this would be a fun little project to do with the family. The Honeycrisp Apple Juice Beverage is new this year as well. It just had a lot of sugar, so I didn't pick it up, but it is $3.99 for four 10 ounce cans. Also the brand new Sugar Plum Sparkling Beverage, again, $3.99. This I think would be a really good mixer for an adult beverage. I haven't got it, but if it's still there around Christmas, I may have to grab it. And another sparkling beverage, the Cranberry and Ginger. This sounds really good as well. It is four eight and a half fluid ounce cans for $3.99. Another fun project to do with the family is a gingerbread kit. I think this was $7.99. I would love to do this, but I don't think I could get Troy on board. So I passed it up this year, but this is super cute. And again, it includes everything that you need to create the gingerbread house. Eggnog liqueur. Now I grabbed this, put it back, grabbed it, put it back. So this will be on my to add to Christmas list if it's still available. It's only $8.99 and I love eggnog. So add a little liquor to that. Uh, perfection. There's also a cocoa cream liqueur. Again, $8.99. This sounds really good too. I thought this would pair really well with a nice hot cup of coffee. The Winter Wassail Punch for $3.99. Basically, this is a festive beverage with apple, black currant, and lemon juices. So that sounds really good too. I think this too would pair as a really good mixer. Peppermint Hot Chocolate. This cute little tin is $4.99, which is not bad at all. It's an eight ounce tin. And again, you can reuse the tin. It would also 
also be a great gift and who doesn't love peppermint hot chocolate the chocolate peppermint loaf mix i bought this last year and made it it is so good it's absolutely positively decadent the baking mix is $2.99 you just need to add i believe oil and eggs but it was really really delicious if you love peppermint and chocolate definitely pick this up and of course trader joe's has eggnog you saw me haul the almond nog they also have regular and light eggnog the quart size is $2.99 in addition to the peppermint mix they also have a gingerbread cake mix with crystallized ginger pieces now i love ginger but I'm the only one that does. So I don't see myself picking this up because I couldn't eat the whole loaf. Well, I shouldn't eat the whole loaf myself, but this would be great to serve at Christmas dinner or on Christmas Eve. The sparkling cranberry beverage for $2.99. You guys saw me haul the ginger beverage in the fall haul. So this I'm guessing is similar to that. I actually still have the ginger beverage in my fridge. It says serve chilled enjoy on its own or spiked with your favorite alcohol so again another great mixing option the butter toffee pretzels are back this isn't really holiday but these are incredible this is christmas crack or holiday crack or trader joe's crack i didn't buy it because last year i think i ate the whole bag in a couple days but they are absolutely to die for so that's everything that i have for you for the first christmas haul from trader joe's like i said if they bring in enough additional christmas or holiday products I will definitely do another haul and taste test, but I hope that you got some great ideas from today's haul. I'm excited to share everything Christmas with you, so stay tuned for the 12 days of Vlogmas, as well as a ton of other Christmas content coming your way. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel, and it lets me know that you like these hauls and taste tests. If you're not yet subscribed and you would like to be part of my community, we'd love to have you. Just hit the little subscribe button and go ahead and ring the bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. I do upload most days of the week and again I'm doing vlogmas so you want to make sure you get those notifications. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget about that description box with my nutrition coaching website, links and discount codes to my favorite things and head over and join us on Facebook. Lots of fun things coming your way for the new year. So thank you guys so much. Merry early Christmas and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!